Hello everyone, my name is John Marie Sondra. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today everyone, my subject will be mountains. So yeah, uh, I'm going to do something like that. I think um, I never paint, uh, I didn't paint like this for a long time. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe if you subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes, the and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And um, yes, I'm going to use this uh, 1.5 inch flat brush. And then I have here the mountain, I have the sketch. I'm gonna do now the second step, which is the underpainting. Okay. I'm gonna use some blue and raw umbra. Let's try something different now. I want it to be more brownish. Okay. So this will be a rocky mountain everyone. I want it to put pure huge rock here on this mountain. Yeah, I just want to paint different today everyone. I have, I can see two houses or so in the bottom part. Okay, so let's try to paint some, some sky, blue, and then white. Okay, and then we can create a purple mountain, blue, red, and then white. I think this is just too big brush for this one. Sometimes the brushes that we're using are just too big. Again, just like purple, everyone. There. 
Okay, and then I can try this um, raw amber. Okay, I'm just doing the underpainting, everyone, to remove all those white spaces. There, so I have the other painting. I'm going to start using the smaller brush because I think the brush is too big for some parts. So uh, I'll try to uh, touch this one first before I'm gonna put the clouds, or maybe I'm gonna put the clouds now. Okay, let's start to put clouds. I will just try to use some white and let's create some clouds. Okay, so my white, everyone's. Uh, a lot of there's still a lot of there's there is a what they call this uh, there is a raw umber or I mean there is a, a light purple there so it's okay I'll just try to apply it there Okay. Just have to paint uh, simple clouds, everyone. I don't want to put uh, too much complicated clouds. Just white there, something like that. And and just press it so that we can create. Uh, we can blend it good. Okay. I think the clouds for me is fine. I do not need to make it so good. Okay. And then we can make this mountain, but make it very light, everyone. I'll just use this purple here and add some white and there's a little bit of umber there yeah something like that actually it's now looking like a brown but brighter Okay, this one is a little bit darker.
Ложечка. This one also a little bit darker. I add a little bit of amber everyone so that the color will not be so much blue. Okay. everyone coming from the right side here straight into there okay yeah I was thinking to remove this mountain everyone but yeah it's fine well, it's good also to see all the lights striking through here yeah I was thinking about that to remove this mountain maybe it will be it will be good I use it for now because I want to focus here. Okay, okay. Maybe for now, that's fine. I will just decide later on. So here I have the wombar. Okay, so that uh, mountain everyone must be darker the, the darker than the rest. Okay. But I still have to control the color. It should be not so much dark. I still want to see the those uh, misty effect. Amber, blue, and the red. So this one, everyone, I'm gonna make it a little bit brownish. I want this place to be full of rocks, okay? And this one will be dark. 
Okay. Okay, I will try to touch. Okay. Uh, adding some highlights. So yeah, my lights coming from the right side. So all the highlights will be here. So I'll be using the smaller brush, the smallest flat brush I have. Okay. Number three or number two, the flat brush. We can use this color here. It's a light color, everyone. It's a grayish color. Okay. there and then I'm, I'm gonna make it darker for this one here no it should be lighter everyone and some white I want it to be like a rocky mountains Right source coming from the right side. Okay. Okay. And then we can mix for a bit of blue green. More blue and then yellow. And then you can put white. And then we can make now here some greenish. Some parts green everyone, like a field. We can make it uh, much more blue green. Add more blue and then white. Just a few. Make sure that the cream color or blue green color, but not use the green blue green color. It's lighter than the background. Okay. Just add more white if it's dark, but don't put dark one. It's not good. Okay. So as you can see, it's now very clear that uh, it hits by the sunlight. Okay. And it looks good. This part is rocks, and this is. Um, some grasses or trees okay i'm going to use this raw umber and then white or maybe blue red and then blue to, to put some reddish purple and then white yeah this one is fine you can put it here okay this one is fine So some rocks everyone but this one a uh, little bit darker because it's on the back of the it's on the back of the mountain so we expect that that part should be dark okay and add some white
I will not reveal so much on that part there because yeah just like that a little bit of blue yeah it looks good and maybe some we can also put some 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 uh, some what's it called this uh, mm, some plants greenish so it should be much it will be bluish of a little bit more bluish but not so much because we expect that this part should be dark okay so yeah i don't want to put anything so much there because we expect that that should be dark there all right okay so yeah we're gonna have to touch here i'm going to use the bigger flat brush the or the medium size flat brush i'm going to use much more yellow and then umber yeah and then white yeah umber and yellow and white then let's paint some rocks here Okay, so this is a rocky mountain. There. there you can add more white to make some lighter to create a lighter color rocks here okay there you go so as you can see everyone it's now looking like uh, some solid rocks there on the top of the mountain okay and then I will mix this a little bit uh, reddish purple see some parts let's 
these are mostly solid rocks everyone Okay. Yeah. Some parts should be dark that uh, are a little bit light there because uh, so that we can see some parts there that are that are hit by the light, okay? Yeah, that looks so good. And then we can start now adding some greenish there, but uh, I will try to put some orange. Uh, blue, yellow, yes, and then red, more yellow, and then white. We can also put some more greenish, okay? I will try it here. At least it's hard for me to, to add the details because of my position. It should be on the other side. <laughs> Look at my hands, everyone. It's a little bit hard for me to Okay, and put a little bit of greenish.
Okay, that looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks so natural, everyone. I like it. It's, uh, it's really good. It looks so simple and it's really good. Okay. So, yeah, I was thinking about to put a small waterfall here. Yeah, maybe it will be, it will add, uh, it will add details on this painting. Okay, so I will now try to add some uh, details on this house. Or, yeah, some darks first. Raw umber. I can put some raw umber here. You do not need to make the house so good. Just... Just make it look like a house or something like a hut. This is a mountain hut, everyone. Old mountain hut. Okay, there you go. Raw umber, I don't know it. We can add a little bit of touch here. Some darks also. And then on the top, back of the house, we're gonna try to put some trees also there. Okay. So I'll just use this blue and the red and the yellow. Or maybe rumber, yellow. Oh yeah, you can put some blue to make, to make it greenish, okay? And in here, we can put some trees. Give it here, everyone. We can put also some trees. Uh, so some darks here just add uh, some darks everyone so that it will also create depths I uh, do not need to make it so good everyone so so plain or so much soft okay Maybe I will try to put some uh, water here. Some small river, something like that. Okay. Okay, so let's try to add some waterfall. I'm gonna mix for blue and then red. And then white.
put some water reflection okay and then I will try now to add some white Then using some blue umber everyone, red and then blue. We can add some darks also here. And then white and then yellow and then blue umber. Maybe a little bit of red. Then put some rocks here. Also put here some details, some lights. There. And also here one. And put some also some lights here. Some rocks, I mean some rocks. To make it look rocks. Yeah, as you can see everyone, it's getting better and better. It's getting much realistic. Can put some few rocks here on the river bank. Okay, so I have to retouch bit by bit 
Okay, pieces by pieces. Okay, so you can see now it's a waterfall. And it's a cliff here going to uh, this waterfall here going to near the house. And it looks so good. It looks realistic. Simple strokes and we create realistic painting. Okay. And in this house everyone I'm going to use yellow and then red and then white it's like a flash color but So here also. There. I'm gonna mix for I think a bit of orange. So yeah, you can see the houses, the two houses in full color. Put some romber, put some door, some windows, something like that. Okay, you can see now this house. And then you can also put some rocks. I'm gonna make it a little bit much more yellowish. I put a little bit of red to make it flush. And then we can also put some greens on the trees. Okay. Some highlights everyone. Try stopping technique. And also here. put yellow prints here okay 
Okay, slowly everyone, the painting coming alive and the painting looks uh, so really good. I think this is very simple, easy uh, painting that I did in the past few years. And it's just all just about technique everyone, technique on creating this realistic. You do not need to make it so good, make it so plain, make it so clear, something like that. Just paint, yeah, just paint and think of the lights and shadows. That's all you can do. And you can create realistic painting. Yeah. And it's so good, everyone, like the lights on this one. And it's even so simple. Looks like a Renaissance type of art painting, okay? Yellow and then red. We can add more cliffs here. Yeah. Okay. You can put some greenish also here. This part of it should be dark. Uh, I got, uh, there's no light there, or uh, the lights cannot hit on that part. Also put some, some, some what do you call this? Uh, a little bit of yellowish plants or grasses. And then you can use this raw umber and then white to create some clip also here.
okay so this is a river everyone okay there you go so as you can see the light hitting on a certain part okay it looks so good and we can put a little bit of running water on the river but i never i didn't uh, think about adding the river when i sketch this one everyone so yeah it just come up, up to my mind to put the river okay and i think uh give justice also to the river i think it looks good there should be a river there because it looks good yeah i'll just keep on retouching adding some some things there adding some grasses maybe here Let's just put some plants here. okay yeah there you go and then let's let's emphasize the slides okay i like to always emphasize the lights everyone so yellow green a little bit of red and then white Even here, you can add much she add lights.
there and then this one you can put a little bit of light as well everyone it looks so so different the painting looks so different and looks so matured and and old yeah looks like renaissance okay I will try to add some water rushing water also on the bottom just light rumber everyone Doesn't have to be uh, a lot. Just like that, we can say that it's body of water, or as we can see, it's a river. Okay, okay. So I'll just retouch everyone, and then I will be done. Okay, I'll just try to add some more colors on the cliff. So I just use this light flesh color touch okay I will use this dark color to add I think I need to add some trunk here yeah okay I'll try to see everyone yeah so i think i am done and that's how simple this one you can we can paint a landscape like uh wait a little bit more i have to put a bit of reflection just a light on brave one reflection here just drag it down like that it so thank you everyone i think and i'm glad that you i hope that you are happy with the result you can also paint this one on your own canvas 
uh, this landscape, this mountainous landscape. It's like an old type of landscape, everyone, like, uh, like the old masters doing. And even the color is good. Okay, everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of your palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.